This is a walkthrough of the Void Vessel Facility in Remnant 2. So I'm going to go through this. I'm going to walk you through this area, and we're going to get all the chests and do all the secret rooms and everything. Now, this one could be the same as yours. It could be different. I'm not sure. Some areas, very few actually, there's only one version of them. But most areas have multiple random generations of all the different parts of them. So there's not going to be a one-to-one -one match on any video that you watch for the exact one you're in right now. But there are commonalities. There's a lot of similarities. The enemies are obviously the same usually. The mini bosses can change up sometimes. But the puzzles, if there's any puzzles that you have to do, those are usually the same as far as I'm aware. Secret rooms, however, can be different. Any secret rooms will be different from one to the next. Um, but it's possible that you get the same secret rooms as I do. If there even are any. Sometimes there's none. So do keep all that in mind while watching this walkthrough. But I will do my best to assist you. If I can remember to look in the comments, I look in the comments and answer questions. But it's hard with how many of these videos I'm pumping out. So I will do my best, though. And I'll try to rush through this relatively fast. I don't want to dawdle too much. Alright, this one, we're gonna have to do something. I think we put something... Wait, do we shoot that? No. Alright. Let's take a look. We got a second floor. We got a first floor. Um, I think we just gotta get going here. Looks like we can jump across on the other side. I really want to do it. Out of curiosity. Anything we have to jump across is usually fun. Alright, it wasn't very fun, but it was a chest. I don't want to stand in that curse. What we got here? Take a look at this map and zoom it in. Okay. Huh. Oh, okay, I do. <laughs> okay. I always forget they can hit through walls. Oh, whatever. I'm over it. Better to heal up now, though, so the cooldown comes back sooner. Real quick, let me run down in here, make sure I'm not missing something. There's one of these. I'll play it for you. I think I went too far away and it stopped. I was actually going to let it play. Alright, I take it back. I'm not going to play it for you. It takes too long. Alright, so that was that whole second half of that room. This is the only way we can go in this generation of this map. So, we're going to go this way. Alright, let's see. Uh, um, that looks like a door I can't go through, but let me double check it. Yeah, yeah. I can't go through this. Not yet. We can't go through it. Uh, I don't think it takes the override pin or the biome portal key or the secrets key, but might as well click them. Alright, this looks like a dead end, so let me see if there's an item in here. No, but there is a chest. I had a feeling it would be something. A binding orb. Wait, I don't even know what a binding orb does. When thrown, device becomes an anchor and applies slow. Okay. 
you know, I, I have that bad habit. I do it in all video games. Maybe you can relate to this. Um, that thing where if a game gives you items, I, I just never use them. Like, if I play Final Fantasy, I'll end the game with 99 of every item if it'll let me. Man, I could really live without them pooping curse everywhere. Oh! Wow, that was... Actually a pretty big surprise, not gonna lie. Thankfully, the the ones that are not the bot, like the the standard version of those, are not bad at all. Really, it's just the um the one in the future domain. I mean, he's not bad either, but the actual boss version at least has that flying attack where he's annoying. But honestly, it's not that bad of an enemy. It's just that one swiping attack. It's possible to mess up and get swiped on accident. The Erari Glyph. All right, that was probably for the door that I saw. Yeah, the one that needed the item right over there. I'm going to go use it right now, actually, before I go to the rest of this area. Because that might just be a side area. I don't know. We'll figure it all out by the end of this walkthrough, though. Don't you worry. We will look at everything. Look at that. All right, I'm going to assume it was for this. Yep. Wait, I put it back in my backpack. I'm so curious now. It showed me putting it back in my backpack, but I definitely did not. It definitely deleted it. Oh, I'm dumb. I wanted to shoot it out of his hand. But it didn't work out. Oh, Jesus. The progeny. Oh. He was sucking me in, by the way. He's doing it again. Oh, that's his... He has the power of Vortex. Oh, no. The Vortex. Oh, this is bad. I don't know how to fight this. I, I know how to fight this. We're just going to cheese him. I've actually never fought one of these ever. All right, well, this is one way to fight him. Oh, mistakes were made. Okay. Whew. Jeez. This is so funny. I love when I get to fight bosses in randomly generated terrain in this game. Because they never know how to use the verticality. It's always so funny. All right, we got a disengage mutator. I'm very curious about that. It must be a melee. 
Melee strikes increase the damage of the next backdash evade attack by 4%. Wait. Oh my god, I didn't even know backdash evade attack was a mechanic in this video game until that just now. Right, let's see what's in this area. I'm glad I went to here because it looks like entirely at the side area. This is the side area for this generation of the void vessel facility oh wow that's so cool looking is this really just a dead end with nothing in it oh there's the thing we want Oh my god, let me go. There's a part lower down I don't think I explored, so I'll have to go back down. But let's see. What is this? The Ring of Crisis. When wearer's health drops below 25% gain, a shield for 25% of max health lasts 10 seconds. But, but what's the cooldown on it? The only way for me to know is to use it and I have to see the cooldown below my health bar, unfortunately. Also, really fast, I'm going to drop back down because it's going to bother me before I go up there. <gasps> oh, my God. What was, uh, when I... Okay, I didn't mean... I didn't even know there was a bottom floor. Okay, there's nothing down here. I want to make sure I, I don't miss anything in here, so we're going to double check it. Okay, because I saw this side area right here where I came in from and I wanted to make sure that that didn't go to something special. That's just a way to get back up if you fall into the pit. Okay, that's good to know. Also, I'm in combat right now. I hear something. Wait, is that the end? Oh yeah, I guess there's no more. Let me look at the map. Yeah, I think I've been to all, everything, unless there's something behind me. I don't see anything above me. I think we're good. I don't know how I'm in combat, though. Yeah, I don't see any items up there. There's no purple glow or anything. Okay, that was the side room. Let's get on with the rest of the place, then. Like, that ring could be totally insane. Um, for being a tank. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know that. I, do I, I don't go this way. That, that ring would be totally insane for being a tank. If the cooldown's not long. If the cooldown is the 10 seconds of how long it lasts, and then it could activate again after that, then that could be really good for, like, a tank medic build. Oh, Jesus. No! Oh my god, now his shield's gonna be back when he comes back. There goes her shield. Did he really leave again? Oh my god, he's trolling.
Oh, we got a thing. Energy switch. I already have one, but that item is absolutely insane. So Void Vessel Facility is another place that you can get it then. Alright, let's see. There was that door. I do want some more ammo real fast. That's one of the best amulets in the entire game, at least for the early mid game, like just to find one and then be like, alright, I'm good for a long time. So I've been using since like uh, since I found one. They're actually so nuts because I mean I hardly even take advantage of it ever, but in theory I would. And I have before. It actually has uh, when I did the Night Weaver, it saved my ass. Because if because I was healing infrequently enough that I effectively had infinite relics. Great. Here's a chest. Take a look. All right. Into the last area. What is this? Oh, the stasis pod glyph. He's cheating. He's going through the wall. Oh my god, I have to kill him now because I'm trapped. Okay, I wasn't really trapped per se, but... It was going to be awkward getting out of that spot. Oh, and then over here we got something else. I hope it's nothing troll. Which is like 10 scrap. Tightly wound coil. Alright, tightly wound coil. Let's see what it is. When spending 75% or more of the current magazine, gain a shield for 10% of max health, max health for 5 seconds. That is actually insanely good. Well, not insanely, insanely good, but just good as a generic item. Let me see if I have something I can give it up for it. Um, I'm going to give up Nah, God, I really don't want to give up anything for it. I don't care. I'd rather have my heal more often than have that. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. The upper area is a one way. So let's do it first or a uh, dead end. All right. This is a shortcut unlock. Let's unlock the shortcut. Let's see what's behind door number one. Door number two. Door number three.
Wait, what? Am I gonna die? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was cool. All right, secret area. Secret boss fight. Man, this minions one that he has is literally like the most annoying thing he could have. Uh-oh. Man, he's about to run me through the entire damn base at this rate. Dude. Okay, so I, I just have to ignore the minions. There's no way. So he just has two minions. This is really not a hard boss fight, honestly. I don't want to kill that minion because then both of them come back. All right, there we go. New mutator transference. Oh, I get the feeling it's a melee one. Yep. Melee generate five percent of max ammo capacity to the reserves for both firearms. Cool down ten seconds. That's actually crazy. Hold up. Yeah, that's way better. That's actually amazing. That's crazy. That's so good. Okay, that is that is a secret boss that you will definitely, definitely want to fight in this game. At the Void Vessel Facility if you get the same version as I had. Wow. Okay, let's go back down here though and see. Did I miss anything? I was so busy fighting. I didn't even get to look around. I think that's everything. I think the whole point of the Void Vessel facility, if it's like mine at least, was this boss fight. Okay. I'm going to call this walkthrough right here. So that was the Void Vessel facility, guys. That was my version of it. Your version may be different. I don't know. Maybe Void Vessel facility only has one version. I don't know. But either way, that was it, guys. If you found it helpful, check out the description for other Remnant 2 walkthroughs, guides, puzzle guides, all sorts of things. I have every video categorized down there. I try to keep it updated as I post Remnant 2 videos. So if you want to watch more walkthroughs for different areas or you just want to find answers to puzzles and things, go check the description and see if I got the answer in there for you. But that is it for this one, guys. That was my walkthrough of the Void Vessel Facility in Remnant 2.